Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Zore, and my background is I'm graphic designer and artist. I work in a Mary Ward Center uh, is, um, in adult education in an art department, and also I work in Age UK. What we're going to do today, I'm going to show you to, uh, some introduction to color. Probably you know you two artists, show you some artwork. We are going to talk about our emotions and feelings and where they come from. And then all the negative emotions that we experience in our life. Also, how we can move on from that thought and that negative that come to our mind. And then we are going to do some breathing and relaxation. And then we're going to use our own music. I hope you prepare for that and draw freely. And then we discuss about your experience if you want. And then at the end, any question? The first thing, the color, we probably you are familiar with that. Three primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. And the reason they call primary colors, because you can't mix any other color to get these colors. And then secondary color, when we mix two of these primary colors, for example, yellow and red, we can get orange, uh, yellow and blue, we can get green, and blue and red, we can get purple. Then we have complementary color, which they are in front of uh, each other in color wheel. For example, red is opposition with green. In the color surrounded by complementary color uh, appear stronger and brighter. So this color wheel is artists using, but some artists doing freely and is not something that you have to do, but this is good information that stay in your subconscious mind. Now I'm showing some artworks familiar for you you know the artist but some of them is from students from college so you can see how the person used a very strong orange with a shape of moderation and also very dramatic stroke express their emotion the next one you can see uh, orange and yellow and then a combination of purple and blue and when you see this piece of artwork you can see some emotions come to the observer so some artists use just very simple or uh, limited palette make a very strong stroke you can feel that how express these emotions towards the paper and make it some very very uh, interesting work well this one using very small stroke and uh, put the colors in different compositions and using blue and orange which dominated in the picture so when you start the exercise, maybe something come to your mind that I'm not good at drawing, I can't draw, but what is this exercise about is from your mindfulness, from your soul, draw what your feeling bring and observe your feeling, observe what emotions come and you put it on a paper. This one, green and dark green and blue dominated in a picture. And you can see from darkness come to the lightness and is like waterfall coming to down the paper. And some light come through these strong color. This is very simple from a student who never done art before. Just try to bring what is emotion as in their mind and draw very lovely piece of work. And then use it very strong black color to go to make some kind of movement. This, you can see the person use very fine drawing with lines and then mix it together and one idea start with doodling and see what they can see in their drawing without thinking that what they want to draw. And then they let intuitions take over and they let what is inside their 
soul coming and discover is kind of discovery and kind of curiosity that you discover something that you never think about it. This uh, student used pastel on top of the collage and make it a dramatic landscape. This you can see very simple, abstract, but very strong with limited color of yellow, orange, red, and purple. But you can see feeling of emotions go through these colors. You can see the black is very strong, but at the same time, blue and light colors come um, have a contrast with this black color. So it's kind of emotional, good and uh, sad and happiness or bad and good. But uh, you can see, you can feel it, some emotionals and mixing of emotionals coming through these lines and these color. The last one is like some blue come over to the yellow and is kind of uh, try to dominate of the bright color, but at the same time is yellow stroke, very fine stroke is coming, is like a wind going around or a storm and uh, make it very interesting piece. And now we are going to talk about what happened that all emotions, especially some emotion that stay in our life, through our life, and make us so sometimes believe in some negativity that is not true. Like a mother, when is pregnant, all emotion that experience, like uh, have trauma or violence or sadness, all influence to unborn baby. And then after that, during all childhood, depends on how our childhood was, how we grow in during the atmosphere of maybe not having enough love or maybe the experience of the trauma, all these affected without we are knowing subconsciously affected uh, in a childhood. Sometimes very simple comments that parents or the um, teacher or people around the child give to the child like she or he is not clever or that my child is very shy, my child is uh, very slow. Without they knowing these affected the child and then during the adulthood influenced by all these things that we uh, got from when we are in a mother's womb two words when we are uh, adult. Even we are an adult, we get uh, lots of trauma, like if we are victim of violence or racism or prejudice, everything can affect us subconsciously and influence our self-esteem, self-confidence, or can be come as a story in our mind that make us not happy enough or make us feel we are not good enough. And first step that move on from all these and become more happier and enjoy our life is creativity and mindfulness. One of the philosopher Krishnamurti, he has got lots of uh, talk in you to you. And he, he says that the first thing is awareness of these, uh, these idea come to our mind. You observe other people, you observe their character or what their behavior are. The first things you observe yourself and watch yourself from distance and see what is story come to your mind and be aware of these. This is the first step we can make us to move on from some stories that come and stay with us whole in whole our life. Another spiritual teacher, Eckhart Tolle, which is German uh, teacher, and he, in his book, The Power of Now, step-by-step uh, -step teach us that how we can, with mindfulness, be in a present, and how we can move on and don't let the stories, negativity in our mind, take over our life. Another writer that I recommend highly is Dr. Ross Harris, and he teaches us that uh, 
the story in background can come uh, like we are driving a car and some background saying, you are not good enough, you're not good driver, don't turn right, don't turn left. And these stories take over our uh, mind. And he is kind of um, CBT, cognitive behavior therapy, that he recommends that you don't fight with what come to your mind because as you fight more, it becomes stronger. You just let it go. You want to go out and enjoy the nature. You say, okay, all everything in your mind that said you are not good enough, you are, you are lonely, you are, don't have enough friends, all the stories, you just let it say, okay, you stay home. I have time to come back and see what I can do. And then just let yourself go to the nature. And in the nature, just focus what you see, what you color you see in the trees, what shape you see. Take a very deep notice to the flowers, to the petals. Because all this story in our mind sometimes stop us to be present and enjoy what is in the life. Like sometimes we don't notice that how beautiful is nature, how beautiful is the all plants, all trees, all flowers. So we can take our sketchbook and go to the nature and just focus. And this is kind of mindfulness. We focus on the present now and we started to drawing and you see how joyful life is when you let all the background story let it go now when we are going to see how we can move on from the story from lots of different uh, ways one way that i recommend is like kind of dance called five rhythm that you can find it in Google. If you Google it, you can find lots of classes that some people say, oh, I can't dance. I don't know how to dance. This stiffness stop us to enjoy, stop us to be free. So one way is five rhythm. When you go, you just let your emotion move through your body and come out of your body. You go with very casual dress, with something very comfortable with your trainers or bare feet, and you dance is a kind of, call it dance to life. You don't uh, thinking I'm not good at dance, or people gonna watch me, how I gonna move it. It's just a kind of exercise that you feel you are part of the nature, you are part of the movement. And this practice is so helpful that make us happier and let's move on from all the stories. Another way is uh, music, is art that uh, some people say that I'm not good at art. I don't know how to draw. This is not the art is about is art is that you bring out your stiffness and sometimes um, all these idea or this negativity subconsciously it is stay in our body and in our mind and art is a one part that can make us be happier and make us connect to our soul that is source of uh, creativity and source of creativity and joyful. My plan is today we practice uh, this kind of mindfulness and art, which are uh, going to listen to our own music. I'm afraid we can't share it because of copyright. So I hope you preparing some five, six uh, soundtracks with no word. Um, if you listen to some uh, foreign language that you don't understand the word is fine because uh, word can distract you. So start off with something that really like it, but put the five minutes uh, that uplift your mood at the end. When you start, you close your eyes and first go into the music for a moment, for a few moments, and then start to be curious and bring everything that you feel 
into freely, free form, free of a stroke, free of color, what color, you don't think what color I use, just use it, trust your intuitions and follow the music and be curious what this music bring you and what you bring it and put it on the paper. If you feel, oh, I don't like it, or you feel somehow that you want to tear the pieces, please do it. Just if you want to put it away or tear it, and because we are all in mute, so feel free to, if you want to make a scream or if you want to make a melody with, and just make yourself move on of your everything that in background come. Be aware of if something comes to your head, you just aware and let it go gently. And don't concern about or uh, judgment about your work or that is not good or that is not good enough. Don't judge it. Just let your inner soul come out and you draw. So before we go to that, we are going to do some breathing exercise. And then after that, we can go and do some drawing for 20 minutes. We sit somewhere very relaxed and put your arm on your lap and close your eyes and breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. First start with your face. See any tension, any stiffness in your face. Feel free to do some stretching if you feel. Then go to your neck. If you want to move a bit, your neck, and if you feel some stiffness, use your hand and press on your shoulder and your neck, because this pressing stop the blood, and then you relieve it. The blood go through faster and relieve any tense, any stiffness. When you do that, you, your body feel already feel better. Do with your other arm and put your hand to another shoulder and do some massage, some pressing. If you feel pain, just gently press harder and let the blood go through your shoulder, through your neck and make you more relaxed. Breathe in, breathe out. Now focus on your spine, straight upward and very relaxed. Check if in your hip you have very stiffness or any kind of pain and let the muscles be more relaxed. Don't forget to breathe all the time and breathe out. Now go to your right leg, your thighs, then go down to your toes. Let it see if there is any stiffness, just let it go and more relax. Now go your left leg. Let 
Be more relaxed and check every part of your leg is relaxed with no tense or stiffness. Check your toes. Breathe in, breathe out. If something come to your mind, just let it go. Try to back to the prison. Because the story in our mind keep coming back. So with exercise and let it go, we can practice and then after many years practice, you can see there is no story come to your head and you enjoy the present. Be sure you are aware of your mind, aware of your body and let any stiffness go away. Now gently open your eyes. Make sure to breathe in and bring out. Then gently try to stand up. And do some stretch, some stretch all your body. Stretch and breathe in, breathe out. Do some movement to your body, the place that you feel you have pain or stiffness in your leg. Stretch all your body on your toes. And do now some shaking. It's like if any stiffness in your body, be aware of that stiffness and do some shaking and say, let it go, let all this stiffness go. Be free of movement. When you start to drawing, if any stiffness is your hand, do your, let it go and you use for your all arm and your all upper arm and make a free stroke, free lines and see what come to your mind. So now we can sit, relax. And breathe in, breathe out. Now it's time we go experiment and practice some freedom from thoughts, some freedom from all things that bothering us and do some discovery, some discovery of free. If you something come to your mind, Oh, I'm not good enough, or I always story. Just be aware of and let it go and see you can be surprised by your freedom and creativity. Now we put it everything on a mute, and I hope your music is ready. So we are going to do. 15 minutes, we don't have time for 20 minutes, 15 minutes, good luck and be aware, don't forget, don't judge your work and don't criticize, just be yourself and just aware of any thought come and let it go. I can see Maria. Maria's work here. 
It's lovely. Would you like to talk about it, Maria? Thank you. I was so inspired by you saying just it was the permission. So first of all, I started to um, paint a rainbow. I'm using Analinky paints. They are very inky. Yeah. And then as I was bringing my paintbrush, I made a splodge up here, which made me cross because I thought, well, I've ruined it now. And then mm -hmm. I thought, well, maybe I'll just drip water all over it and then put some put some paint inside it and then it started to rain really really wow. quite a lot outside so I just started flicking my paintbrush as if it was raining oh. and then I started to blow it and I would never have done anything like that hadn't you given me the permission I mean it's what started off as something it's a bit like my life this really what started off as something has changed into something incredible thank you yeah. I'm so grateful for the for the permission it's beautiful, Maria. Well done. Thank this you. is that the life we are going, you know, all the time when we give permission with our soul, we can have lots of discovery and joy. And we seem, my gosh, all this is inside me and I looking outside. I looking for beauty, but they're all in our creativity that, that we have. Well done. Very nice. After this, what you can do and continue is maybe you write in your journal what, what happened, what happened in the beginning, what thought will come to your mind, what you felt before you start and what you felt after that. And this journal help you to grow. And as you, we continue doing this, we can see your creativity open more and more and wider and you'll be freer and freer without letting all these stories hold you back. And you feel more in joy of the nature of life. And I hope this webinar, it was something you take with you some ideas and I hope you enjoy this webinar. If you have any questions, please ask. Otherwise, wish you all the best.